Hello you guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this really cool video outro. You can have it at the end of your videos and uh, yeah, it's really quick and easy to make. So yeah, this tutorial shouldn't really be too long. But yeah, alright. So what you're going to do is you're going to open Photoshop. This is a Photoshop tutorial, so yeah, it's not an illustrator. Um, all you're going to do is you're going to go to File, New. And these are the dimensions you want. They have to be 920 by 1080 because that is the, the size of what video you, most videos are and that's the highest quality. That, uh, that you want. So yeah, copy these in uh, 920 by 1080 and yeah, you should be good to go. So just press OK. And now what we're going to do is we're going to have a black background. Well, it's kind of an offset black. Uh, you can copy the code there. It's 1E, 1E, 1E. And yeah, it's kind of a really dark grey. And yeah, that's what we're going to be using today. It's always best to work in offset colours rather than um, like a pure black or a pure white just because it looks better. And yeah, you should really rarely work in pure colors like that. Okay, so what we're going to do is um, we're going to start off by adding a light to the top. So uh, to do that, you just want to get your default brush. So you just want to go to your brushes, which is right there, and click on this default brush. Everyone should have this, uh, unless you deleted it. But, um, yeah, you should have this, and we're going to change the size up. Um, you could either use that bar there to change your size, or you could use a square bracket keys like this, that you can up and down, changes the size and uh, we want it to be white okay so now we've done that we're gonna just click and try and get it as in the middle as you can and uh, okay that yeah that looks good uh, we want it to expand it should end in about the middle it's like um, you, you should see the glow and it should end in about the middle but it can go just over yeah it's just personal preference really and uh, then we're gonna turn down the opacity just a bit uh, to about 50% yeah that looks good so yeah that's yeah, that should be good. And now we're gonna do is we're gonna add a texture. I've got this texture pack on my YouTube channel. There'll be a link to uh, to download the texture pack in the description. It's free for you guys to download. And uh, yeah, there's all these really cool textures in here. And I'm gonna be using this one. Uh, I call it patches. So let's just put that in. And uh, we just want it to be below the light. So yeah, if you can see, it has a really nice glow on it. And we're gonna turn down the opacity to about 60. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add where the video is going to be. So you can see in the middle here, um, you can see that that's where the video is going to be placed. Uh, so to do that, you're just going to go to our shape tool, which is right here. And you just want to click once. You don't want to drag or do anything. And you want to change the width to 1280 by 720. Because these are the dimensions of what uh, HD videos are. And uh, most people use these dimensions for their videos. Uh, oh well, it's not the dimensions, the aspect ratio. So yeah, that's the main aspect ratio that people use for their videos. And yeah, that's the um, that's what you're gonna want. And now to center this uh, the squares, because we want it to be in the center of our whole project here. So to do that, we're gonna use our selection tool. Just click and drag over the whole project, and then go use our move tool, and then make sure we have our rectangle selected, and we can just use the center tool up here. And yeah, uh, it was already centered, but um, yeah, we can just center it that way. Uh, yeah, and that look, that works pretty well just by using these. So yeah, you can use all these tools here, but to, for it to be centered, you can use this one and this one here. And yeah, those that will center your rectangle in the very middle. Okay. So now we have this re uh, this rectangle in the middle. If you want to hold Command uh, or Control if you're on a PC, and you can click on the thumbnail of the layer. And what that will do is it will make a selection around the whole layer and now you can hide the rectangle we just made and just delete it from our original background layer so you can see in our layers there we've got layer one selected and just press delete and now delete the area for where the rectangle was and now we can just press command d and that will deselect and we can actually delete the rectangle we just had and now what we're going to do is we're going to click on our textures and our light so just by holding shift you can select both layers at the same time and you just want to right click and you want to go to create clipping mask so that basically does is um, it will the grunge texture that we added and the light won't go into this rectangle here and it will only go into the background that we had okay so now we're going to add the shine that goes across it like um, as you can see on here we've got this really cool shine and then after that we'll add the text and the logo and we'll, I'll show you guys how to add the layer style as well Okay, so right now we're going to just use our pen tool, make sure we made a new layer and uh, you can make sure it's on create clipping mask as well. Everything, all these layers must be on create clipping mask 
just so they don't go into the video uh, where the video would be and yeah so um, just going to make one point up here and the other point down in this corner just so it cuts across the whole project and then just go around and just to make this just to complete the shape and um, here we're going to do is we're going to right click and go to make selection uh, keep everything the same should be on zero everything should be good and now you're going to use our brush tool you can either press B on your keyboard or you go over to here and we're going to be using the same default brush as we had before and um, yeah so we're just going to make sure our, um, our foreground color is, is white it must be fully white because we're doing a shine and um, you just want to click you just want to just find the uh, right spot you don't want it to be too uh, too out because then it doesn't really look like a shine so you just want it to be cut off and uh, yeah, I'll show you guys what I mean yeah kind of like that and you might find that you might need to uh, turn down the opacity of the original light that we had like this top light up here a bit so yeah that looks pretty cool like that and we can also turn down the opacity of this of this shine that we added and yeah that looks pretty cool it adds like kind of a kind of a um, it, it just adds the clean effect to that uh, that we're going for for this piece of work okay so now we're gonna do is we're gonna add the logo so let's just go to file open and then find your logo that you had uh, that you're gonna be using so let's just go to mine um, if you want to know how to make a vintage logo like this uh, I have made a tutorial on it it's the latest tutorial I, I uploaded so yeah just go to my channel check that out and um, yeah, I've actually got the AI of the of the logo. If you do have the AI, I can show you how to import it as a vector file. But if you just have the PNG, just double click and um, and then just drag it in. But because I don't have a transparent version of the of the um, of the background, we're going to import it as a vector because we have the AI. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to File and um, Place Embedded. If you don't have the AI, then don't worry about the steps and just click uh, just open your PNG version. But if you have the AI, just Go to place and uh, file, place embedded, and then just find the AI version that you have, and then this should come up, and then just press OK, and there we go. Here we go. Uh, so what that basically did is, if you import an AI logo like I just did, it makes it a vector. So we can basically make it any size we want. Uh, we can make it smaller. We can make it bigger. I just, I just deleted it. My bad. Let's just get that back in. Uh, we can make it any size we want, and uh, the it won't the the quality won't be damaged just yeah that's what a vector image is and yeah it looks pretty cool okay so now we've got this uh, we got this logo in here again I did make a tutorial on how to make a vintage logo so I suggest you go check that out um, so we have this logo in here and I want the color to be a white kind of like this what we got here because that's what the, that's the color that we're gonna be using for all the text so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to we're just gonna double click on our layer so our layer style options come up go to color overlay and we're gonna make it a white and there we go so just set the color overlay to white and now you're going to right click on your layer and go to rasterize layer style so now we can't change, well we can change the color again but um, now we've got rid of the color overlay and now the logo is now like it is white and now we can add the gradient overlay um, you guys should, I think it will be on normal and the opacity will be on full for you guys what you want to do is you want to go to change the blend mode to multiply and then you can just turn down the opacity and then you can also just click and drag if you uh, to be able to move the gradient on your logo so yeah that looks good now we're going to add a drop shadow um, opacity should be on 75 by default um, none of this stuff really matters uh, just you guys can copy the digits that I'm using and yeah it should turn out pretty good um, yeah so for this logo we're using our spread of 77, uh, 27% sorry, and our size is 21 pixels just like that and now we're going to add our text basically to say thank you for watching the video uh, add our social media and stuff as well so yeah we've got our logo in there so I think we're going to make it just a bit smaller just so we have a bit more room for the other text okay so now we're just going to use our type tool which is right here and you just want to click and we're going to put thanks for watching the video and we're going to put an exclamation mark there just make it a bit bigger okay that's good and we're going to make sure it's all centered just for, by moving around and waiting for it to kind of snap in the middle we'll have this pink line come up and uh yeah so i think we're going to make it just a bit smaller and there we go we can uh, we can also copy the layer style from our logo just by right clicking on our logo layer and go to copy layer style 
and then go to our text layer style, right click and go to paste layer style and that's how you basically copy a layer, a layer style from one um, a logo or any layer to another layer and uh, I think we're going to move the, the gradient down a bit so yeah that looks a lot better, it looks a lot cleaner and yeah so that looks good and now we're going to copy this text down just by using Control J that duplicated the, the layer that we had selected we can move this down and we're going to make and we're going to um, change this text to check out my previous video okay and we're just going to make this a bit smaller there we go that looks really cool so now we have the thanks for watching the video we have our logo and we have check out my previous work and yeah that looks really cool and um, so yeah now we're going to add our social media so to do that, we're gonna just use our type tool again, and I'm just gonna put my Twitter. So my Twitter is badthezn, and just make that a bit bigger. Okay, that is cool. And now I'm gonna use, I'm gonna bring in the logo. And to do that, I've got just make a new layer, and I've got all my social media lo um, social medias as brushes. If you do not do that, I have made a tutorial on that as well. So I'll leave a link to that in the description as well as the vintage logo tutorial. So yeah, we're just gonna get our Twitter brush and um, just make it a bit smaller, just to make it the same size as the text. There we go. That looks good. Might just want to move it over a bit. And now we're gonna select both of those layers. Press Control J, and we're just gonna drag that over to here. And now we're gonna add my Snapchat. Uh, so yeah, just you wanna click on your Twitter logo um, and then create, uh, just make a new layer, just so it goes above um, the Twitter logo and um, I mean the Twitter logo layer and now you're gonna change the brush to a snapchat one which is right here and now I'm just gonna make it a bit smaller just matching the size of the of the Twitter logo that we had there and now we can actually delete um, the Twitter logo that we had there originally just so we know that the, the snapchat logo and the Twitter logos are the same size so everything should be good and we should also still have our copy layer style from earlier from the logo so we just want to right click on each layer and go to paste layer style and there you go it just adds the layer style to the, to the logo and we can just do that just by selecting them all and press paste layer style so yeah that's basically how, how to make this really cool and simple clean outro if you enjoyed the video leave a like and don't forget to tweet any uh, 20 any oh i always mess up when i try and say this part of the tutorial um, don't forget to tweet any work that you have um, made as a, result, as a result of this tutorial and I'll be sure to check it out and I'll give you some feedback if you'd like. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys for watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video.